In the beginning, there was the word, and it was spoken, Native American saying, For centuries our people told stories, from the roots to the fruits, we are our ancestors. That's essentially how we see what we're doing. It's a, a new way of continuing this ancient tradition that Native peoples have done you know, since time immemorial. Now, we pray through dance floors, turntables, spray cans, and microphones. What you see in modern art forms has its roots in traditional art forms. That sounds pretty sick. Poetry gives me a reason to reach back and to uh, really search for those stories. My dad sang stories to my mom as they walked into flooding valleys. This is something that all of us have had our hands in for the last seven years. You know, we've helped shape this program, and now, you know, it's, it's not all going away, but the energy is dispersing to go and you know, spearhead things in other places. You know, it's not spoken word class or club or team, it's family. I have never been to the east. The farthest I've ever gone east was Nebraska. This is the way young people are supposed to learn and, and be educated. And I think we somehow lost that along the way. The energy that we have moves through each other and we're not ourselves anymore, we're part of a whole. Through the, the prayer that we just experienced, I can feel everyone's energy coming to life. and we were on stage and prayer was still happening and it wasn't acted out. Those were real prayers that were being offered to that space and for the audience to witness and journey through with us. I feel very ready. I'll take this energy wherever it needs to go. 